Hello, welcome to Gecko Board. I'm Sam, the Customer Success Manager. Now, in this short video, I'll explain a little bit more about what Gecko Board is, the importance of using a tool like Gecko Board, and how you can use it to visualize and share the all important data in your business, as well as guide you through the steps you need to take to get you off to a flying start. So let's jump right in. Now, you're probably already familiar with what a typical dashboard looks like, with lots of visualizations representing different parts of your business, some drill down options for exploring historical data in every way possible. And you'll likely only find them being used by a small handful of people in your organization. Well, Gecko Board dashboards are a little different, starting with what goes on them. Rather than being a place to access and drill down into all your business's historic data, Gecko Board is for communicating the most important data your team cares about day to day in real time. Sure, other tools can do a neat job of summarising the past month's performance in a nice detailed report, but Gecko Board is designed to surface data that will get the most out of your team and make a difference right now. Some of the world's most forward-thinking companies are using Gecko Board's dashboards to keep teams focused solely on the metrics that matter, becoming more focused and productive as a result. And you can achieve the same using Gecko Board. Building dashboards is straightforward with Gecko Board, We've gone and integrated directly with over 90 different tools and services, so you can visualize live data from the tools you use yourself without touching any code. And we're always adding new data sources. Now, if you're already tracking KPIs in a Google Sheet or Excel, getting them into Gecko Board is straightforward. And with the addition of third-party plugins or your own macros, you can also use a spreadsheet as a useful bridge to bring data in from some data sources we don't directly support. Zapier or make.com can also be an option for bringing other data into Gecko Board. If you can find your data source in their list of integrations, there's a good chance you can pull data through to Gecko Board using an automation. Finally, if you've got data in another system, a database or perhaps a custom built tool, database integrations and Gecko Board's datasets API gives developers some straightforward ways to send custom datasets to Gecko Board, which can be used for building widgets in much the same way as our other integrations. If you're unsure about your options, just drop our team a message and we can help advise. Now for the fun stuff, let's show you how easy it is to bring your data to life by running through a quick example of how to get started. Once you've set up your trial, you'll be presented with your very first dashboard that you can start to bring to life. Now the dashboard is the dark blue area that represents the perfect dimensions to display on a TV. And on it then sits widgets, the metrics that are important to you. Now, we recommend between five and 15 widgets per dashboard for that all important data. So whoever looks at it can easily understand what's going on. And don't worry if you need more than one dashboard, we have you covered. Now, when you click the add widget button for the first time, this is where you'll be presented with the 90 plus data sources we currently integrate with. You can either scroll or type what it is that you're looking for. And when you've found the data source you're looking for, setting up a secure connection with it and pulling live data into Gecko Board normally takes just a minute. And as the owner of your Gecko Board account, you'll have full control over adding and removing connections to different data sources going forward. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to connect to Zendesk and visualize the number of support tickets coming in from Zendesk. Here, I'm just gonna connect a Zendesk account to Gecko Board pick the metric I want to see on my dashboard, in this case, tickets. I can then use a number of filters and adjustments to dial this into something more specific. And then when I'm happy, I can add that metric to my dashboard with a simple click, just like this. Visualizations like this widget will refresh automatically every few minutes to stay up to date throughout the day and can easily be moved around, resized and adjusted so anyone can quickly build up a custom dashboard in minutes, whatever their experience with data. So as you can see here, I've gone ahead and added a few more widgets, added some status indicators to some of them that really highlight metrics that have changed in interesting ways. I've swapped out the logo and tweaked a few of the colors to really help it stand out. And now we're ready to get some eyes on these KPIs. You'll have several options for sharing a live up to the minute version of this dashboard, as well as regular snapshots at a point in time. So you'll have no problem sharing the data that makes a difference to your business. 
And that's about it. Now, if you're keen to learn more about how Gecko Board can help you surface key metrics in your business, head to geckoboard.com and sign up for a 14 day trial where you can hook up a data source and try everything out for free. Now, once you've signed up for your trial, you'll have the opportunity to book a quick demo, meet with your customer success manager, where I can show you all of the other amazing features we have, as well as answer any questions you may have. Coupled with our dedicated customer success support team who are available 24 hours a day, five days a week, you'll be in good hands. Happy dashboarding.